there's one single CNC project that sets itself apart from all the rest. One single project that rules them all. There's one single project that will allow you to go from baby beginner CNC user that ah wow I don't know what to do to God Pro level status yeah. on your CNC. One single project, and that one single project is the cribbage board. Ah, just kidding. Gotcha. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine, and in this video, I want to share with you some quick thoughts on why I think the American flag is the absolute best CNC project. Whether or not you're a flag builder or not is irrelevant. Whether or not you're going to offer flags to your customers is irrelevant. I believe that the American flag is a crucial project that you should do multiple times to be able to build your confidence as a CNC user. And I want to explain to you really just a few reasons why. It doesn't matter what program you're using, whether it's Carbac Create or Carbco or any of the other multitudes. It doesn't matter. When you're a beginner, you have absolutely no idea where to start. Most of the time, you don't know where the tools are at, how to import a file, how to resize things. And you need one single project to allow you to learn all those things. Yes, it's fine to create a square, create some other simple shape such as a star, but it really doesn't make things click until you actually do a single project from start to finish. And again, I think that one single project is the American flag. Let's take it from the top. When you're a beginner, you need to learn how to import images or your SVGs. You need to learn how to group your vectors. You need to learn how to resize. You need to learn how to set up your tool paths. This project, the American flag at its most foundational basic form allows you to learn that. You're gonna set up two foundational tool paths, the V-carp and the pocket. So this project already incorporates the most basic and most fundamental things you need to learn. Let's say you do follow along on one simple project, one American flag project, and you're able to complete it. What's next? What else can you do? Well, I think you just got to take it in steps, take it in stages. One thing that you could do is create your stripes using a V carb with a flat depth, or if you're using carb by create, using the advanced V carb toolpath. By doing this next, I believe that you're going to be able to better grasp the differences between the V carb toolpath and the advanced V carb toolpath, or simply a V carb with a flat bottom. You're going to be able to understand those differences. And once you get comfortable with that toolpath, you're gonna to notice yourself using it all the time. So what's next? What can we do with the American flag that's going to take me to the next intermediate level? At that intermediate level, I think it's now time to customize the American flag. Whether it is images, text, different images merging within each other, that is going to be your next step. Regardless if you're a flag builder or not, you're going to learn the tools. You're going to learn the different functions of the program of your choice. This is what's really crucial. And that's why I say in a lot of my videos, it's not necessarily the flag or the project, but the principles that are being shared in the videos. So the tools and how to use them is what's really important. And once you know the tools, then you can go ahead and spread out and, and build whatever it is that you want to focus on. At this intermediate level, I'm talking about the Boolean functions such as Boolean subtraction, intersections. I'm talking about custom SVG creation, custom SVG merging. That's what this level is all about. From this intermediate level, we're gonna go ahead and jump to the professional status. It's all arbitrary, guys. I'm not saying if you know these things or can do these things, you're a pro. There's a lot of things that you can learn at different stages. Just because you can do these, you may not necessarily be a pro. I'm just saying that for different distinctions of different things that you could do at different levels. But at this level, at this professional level or more confident level, you're going to be able to do things such as tiling. You're going to be able to do things such as 3D carbs. Tiling is one of those most important things that I think that you should learn how to do. And it's actually not that difficult after your first or second time doing it. At this next level, you're also gonna have those 3D carbs. I have never carved anything in 3D, but I can only assume that by looking at it, there's a lot more complexity, a lot more involvement in the design because you're creating something 3D. And I'm also assuming that you're gonna to have to set up different tool paths to get the outcome that you want. I also see in different posts that these 3D carves can take up to three, five, 10 hours to carve all at one single time. So I've never had a carve last more than an hour. So I'm just being honest with you guys, I've never done that. So I would consider that at a higher level as well. So really those are my reasons as to why I think the American flag is the best project to take you from beginner to a more expert or professional level. And by professional, I mean more confident in your CNC creations. While I know that there are many more projects, I happen to be a flag builder, this is my niche. This is where I feel more comfortable. And I can only share with you my experience. I was a beginner. I didn't know what to do. And I can only thank the American flag to take me from someone that didn't know anything to somebody that knows something. So don't discredit the American flag CNC project just yet, even if you're not a flag builder. If you're brand new, definitely jump into this project. You're not going to regret it. In the comments below, let me know what you think is the best project for beginners that will take them from beginners to pro God level status. In the comments below, I wanna check them out. I appreciate you guys and I appreciate all the support I've been receiving. I'll see you guys on the next video.